Hey everybody, I got these four chicken thighs and I'm gonna make some chicken salad, okay? Quick, easy meal to take for work. So, let's get going. We're gonna wash and season these chicken thighs. So I'm gonna wash them up real good and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna season them up and put them in a pot. Okay, you guys, oh, you can't see the chicken. Okay, so here's the chicken in the pot. I'm gonna use kosher salt, black pepper, and chicken bouillon, okay? That's what we're gonna season the chicken with because we're making chicken salad, so we don't wanna use too much in the pot with just the chicken because we just making a broth. Um, we're actually just boiling the chicken to cook it. So you don't wanna put a whole bunch of seasonings in there, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to use a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, I'm sorry, this is a half a teaspoon, because I'm only using, oh shoot, okay, we're going to put that back. Cause I'm only using four thighs, chicken thighs. I'm not cooking a whole bunch of nothing. So we only using a half a teaspoon of everything. Okay, and we're just gonna add water. I'm gonna put a little more. We're just gonna add water and let this cook for about an hour and 10 minutes. Okay and on medium high heat add water i'm going to fill it up to a right before full before the top of the pot and i'm going to cook it for about an hour 10 15 minutes i'll be back i will let you know how long i cook it now while the chicken is cooking i'm going to be chopping up my celery i have three celery sticks i might do four depending on how big they are but I want celery in my chicken salad and onion. So I'm gonna chop up my onion and my celery while the chicken is cooking. I'm gonna um, show you how I soften up my celery. I don't want my celery real, real cr crunchy in my chicken salad. So I'll be back in an hour, okay? Okay, you guys, the chicken has cooked for an hour and 20 minutes. And this is how the chicken looked. Now I'm getting ready to debone the chicken. And as I debone it, you see I got my onion and my celery sitting here. So the, while the chicken is still hot, and I like the gristle, so I'm gonna leave the gristle in mine. But if you don't like the gr gristle of the chicken, you can take that out as well. But I'm just gonna Take my celery and dump it off in the bowl because I, I want the heat to kind of soften my celery up. Okay, so that's why I'm putting my celery in the bowl with my chicken as I debone it. And I like the skin, so I'm leaving the skin in mine as well. But for you, if you don't like the skin in the, in the gristle, take the skin off first. And then as you're deboning it, take the gristle out and just use the chicken. And I like dark meat, so that's why I'm using thighs. And they easy to debone. So if you like white meat, you can use breasts. That'll work really, really good. And I'm not using boiled eggs because my chicken salad stay fresher in my tuna. I don't use eggs in my chicken salad in my tuna anymore because it stay fresher longer without the egg. It's subject to go bad faster with the egg in it. So that's why I don't use the egg. But if you like boiled eggs in yours, boil the egg 
boil about three eggs and put in here with your rest of your ingredients so now I'm just gonna mix this around in here get my chicken all cut up I might need to get a knife So let me get a knife, you guys. Give me a second. Uh-oh. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I got the knife, so I've just been taking a knife and fork and going across it, shredding the chicken. So now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients that I want to add which will be onion as you can see it's sitting right here so we're going to add the onion in And I like to use Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. I like to use a little bit of both. If you like mayonnaise and don't like Miracle Whip, just use the mayonnaise and vice versa. If you like the Miracle Whip and don't like mayonnaise, just use the Miracle Whip. I like both. The Miracle Whip is a little sweeter, so I always add that last. So I add a little mayonnaise. And then I add some Miracle Whip in there. Uh oh. As you can tell, I like onion too. Okay, so now we got that all mixed in there. Now we're going to take our spoon, get the mayonnaise. So I have a pretty nice size spoon. It's a serving spoon. So I'm just going to put half on there. So that's about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Okay, and then we're going to go in. And I'm gonna, so I will say that's about two tablespoons of Miracle Whip. Okay, we're just gonna mix that all together. And then I'm going to add my sweet pickle relish. And if you don't like sweet pickle relish, you can use the dill relish. Or you can use no relish. Just want to start taking the fork, mixing that in. Make sure all your celery and onion is mixed in thoroughly. And like I said, you don't have to use Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. That's just my choice. You could use one or the other. Or you can try it like I did it and use both. Okay, now I need to open this relish. Give me a second, you guys. Okay. 
So I'm going to use the same type of spoon, but this one have holes in it. So I would, this one won't even fit off in here. That's bad. Okay, so we're going to go with about, I like pickle relish in mine, so we're going to say about three tablespoons. About three tablespoons of pickle relish, you guys. I'm going to use this spoon just so I can get my miracle whip off of it so you just want to start mixing that in and I'm probably going to put a little more pickle relish in mine so to be on the safe side I would say three to four tablespoons of pickle relish but it's really optional for you, depending on how well, how much you like it. But I definitely have to go with, uh, let me give it a taste, you guys. Yeah. Oh, but it's good. My goodness. Okay. So without measuring, I want to tell you, use about real tablespoons. Use about four. Four to five. I really should have used one, but I thought that spoon was going to fit off in there. But this chicken salad is good, you guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. I thought I was going to have to add some more mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, but it turned out just perfect. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to put this in a bowl, and then I'll be right back, you guys. Oh, wait. I think I want to put a little, a little pepper. Just a little. And I really want salt. So let me get the salt, you guys. Okay, I have the salt, just a little white salt. Just sprinkle a little. Okay, now we're going to mix the salt and pepper in there. And then I'm going to put this in a bowl and get some Ritz crackers, and we're going to taste this. This is going to be my lunch for the week. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'll be back. Okay, you guys. Got it all set up. So, let's dig in. Okay. Now, let me get a fork. You want some? I thought I was finna eat that, you guys. You like it? She have to have it cold. I just made it. So it's not cold, you guys. 
But doggone it is good. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Anyway. Thank you for joining me, Rolling in the Kitchen with BJ. And I will see you back here in this kitchen, Rolling, once again next week. And until then, peace and blessings. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.